still. wet weekend in the Pacific Northwest and it looks like a skier's paradise in parts <laughs> of the Northeast. Good evening, I'm Sharon Rizalton. So you're going to believe that. We had Jim Cantori on the slopes talking about That's the right. snow for Stowe, which we'll show you scenes of momentarily. I'm Paul Emick and in just a few minutes we will again take you live to San Diego, site of Super Bowl 32 for a uh, check on the weather there. But first let's talk a bit about the snow in New England. As I mentioned, much of New England under a winter storm warning tonight, including Stowe, Vermont. Now, these are pictures shot by our Weather Channel crew a bit earlier this evening. The snow still falling across uh, most of the state of Vermont. Our uh, special coverage for that area will resume tomorrow morning around 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Still a bit of snow, but it's getting a little bit uh, brighter, too. Earlier today, the snow began falling around Boston. Tonight, that has uh, turned over to rain throughout Massachusetts. The freezing line slowly but surely working its way further north. It's further away from uh, Boston. And expecting kind of a cold, damp day on Saturday as it lifts away. All right, let's concentrate on the good news. Here's the good stuff. It's moving out of the way. That's the big mess. A lot of moisture drawn in here, moving away from the coast. So the worst of the moisture, out to sea, out to lunch, as far as providing any uh, additional messes, as far as widespread messes. Tomorrow, still some wind problems, and a little uh, precipitation problem here, too. We'll get to that momentarily in our forecast as well. Service conditions, best way to describe what's happening here is it's a pretty classic scenario. Area of low pressure, winds blow from high to low. High pressure is nice, stable, descending air, kind of a cloud squasher, if you will, literally flattens them out. Low pressure drags it in like a moisture magnet. Winds blow in here. Head of it, we're pulling up lots of moisture from a, uh, well, from a fairly warm source region. The moist air can, the warm air can hold a lot of moisture, so yeah, there's the warm air coming in, being drawn in. A little red thing there, those little round barbs, indicates where we have the warm front. Makes sense that the warm air is in here. There's a cold front moving in, cold air back behind it. Again, things are being drawn in here. We're pulling up some warmth and some rain. So we have rain along the coast where the warm front has passed. But a bit of freezing rain problem here where we have cold air being wrapped in. Cold air here. Some places like around Messina, New York, and in parts of Vermont, New Hampshire, and the entire state of Maine tonight, we have snow. Because way up there at the boundary layer, it's cold enough for snow, and it makes that trek all the way from the cloud to the ground. Poof, snow. There comes the powder. We see the orange shading tonight. That's where we have the freezing rain problems. The moisture kind of does a good job of flying over the front. It's not waiting for the warm air to move on. It's going up and over. As it falls, where we have a shallow layer of cold air at the surface, that's where we're seeing the freezing problems. Albany tonight, you're a part of this, but Boston, you're not. Difference in temperatures here. Albany, 31 below freezing. Boston, 39. That's where we're seeing the rain there tonight. Throughout Maine, I'm talking about most of the state here on Caribou. Yeah, still seeing a lot of snowfall coming in here. Also toward Holton and Portland. As you look toward New Hampshire, though, a lot of rain, 
popping up in a couple of spots, including around uh, Concord and Portsmouth. A bit of freezing rain, though, around Manchester, and uh, some snow around Burlington and Montpelier. So we're dealing with a lot of action here throughout uh, the Northeast tonight across most of New York State. Uh, some freezing rain for Albany, Binghamton, also Glens Falls, as well as Utica. But uh, a lot of rain, though, as we get on toward the city. Around Islip, around JFK, around LaGuardia, all rain. Philly, southward, plenty of rain. Let's get kind of a close-up look here at uh, some of the cities in the Northeast. A little action here as we move on. Uh, we'll get a good close look at Boston here. Around Chelsea and Revere tonight, it's all rain. Built to stay that way. But in Worcester and also into Westfield, some freezing rain. So are not totally out of the woods here yet. But as the warm air continues to push northward, That'll take us out of the freezing rain, but still allow just a little additional snow to fall in the northeast. Let's shift gears now to the west coast. With that, here's Sharon Resulta. Well, the northeast is not the only place in the country dealing with snow and rain tonight. The Pacific Northwest also has its share of problems. And earlier today, some severe weather moved through central Florida. Things are pretty quiet now in Florida, but that was not the case earlier today. A tornado tore through a mobile home park in Grove City, Florida this morning. Charlotte County officials say several people reported seeing the tornado. 20 to 25 other homes were damaged. Thankfully, no injuries were reported. Well, let's go ahead and take a peek now at the severe weather reports. And you can see the confirmed tornadoes there into central Florida. It was a very, very active day. Nasty 2 all the way on out into Brevard County with an inch and three-quarter hail and reports as perhaps as much as five inches of rainfall. Some pretty hefty thunderstorms moved through during the early afternoon. Here's a look at your current weather map now of the southeast. You can see much of the southeast much quieter than where you were, say, just 12, 24 hours ago. Even on into Florida, all that moisture still coming on in, but not seeing the heavier showers and certainly not those strong thunderstorms. And definitely looking at a better pattern as we head on into the weekend. Things quieting down here, too. There is uh, still some uh, rainfall, significant rain there around the Outer Banks and around Cape Hatteras. But in the west, we are looking at that onshore flow. Very gusty winds, even into Seattle and Portland, those winds gusting up and over 25 miles per hour and heading out uh, around Sea Lions Cave, some of these areas right along the coast actually experiencing around Cannon Beach, for instance, around Oregon, experiencing uh, up to 60 mile per hour wind gusts. So some pretty nasty conditions. And this is just the beginning of a series of systems that will be moving on in for the weekend. That'll tend to keep temperatures a little bit cool, some rain cool there, snow, of course, heading into the higher elevations. The warmth, you can find it, milder temperatures in parts of the southwest, including San Diego. And that is where you have to go to find the sunshine out west as well. Pretty nice conditions in San Diego. And Paul's going to tell you more about that. That's right. Super Bowl 32, less than two days away. And the pregame party is already underway. Weather Channel's own Bill Keneally standing by live now in San Diego. Weather looking pretty good. Now, Bill is our senior Super Bowl soiree specialist. So if anybody knows a good party, it's Bill. What's happening tonight in beautiful city of San Diego? It is just that, Paul. Beautiful night here in San Diego following a beautiful day with highs earlier, by the way, right around the 70 degree mark. And the uh, much ballyhooed, much feared El Nino yet to rear its ugly head. And it's not about to this weekend either, folks. So it's well worth the drive down I-15 or I-5. Pick your uh, busy intersection. All right, let's talk about some of the sites here. San Diego, California, the place to be this weekend, the mecca of the football world and uh, probably the solar system for that matter. A lot of sunshine, just a few wispy cirrus cloud cover. You can see the uh, Packer faithful out there throngs of them and uh, Bronco fans we saw plenty of you guys too out there today a lot of sunshine to be enjoying the boating which is uh, offered around here and it's just awesome let's check out those numbers now see what's happening as of the uh, seven o'clock hour out here temperature is still running in the high 50s dew point about 52 degrees relative humidity checks in at 78 percent the winds are now calming down skies are clear Earlier had some wispy high cirrus cloud cover. Watching the pressure creeping up tonight, now up to near 1,019 millibars. Forecast is looking good, Paul. Sunshine and highs well into the 60s. And you know, Paul, Jack Murphy Stadium a little bit inland, so we may actually crack 70 again out here. I should qualify that Qualcomm Stadium. Let's show you some uh, scenes from uh, yesteryear. Take you back to Super Bowl 26. This is a mere six days, uh, six years ago in the Twin Cities, the Metrodome, the site. Thankfully, 10 inches of snow on the ground outside, but uh, all that did was maybe mar some of the uh, festivities out there in the tailgating world. But uh, again, this is uh, 1998, and it looks like a pretty awesome weekend to be had for Super Bowl 32. Paul? A Friday night in San Diego, looking pretty good there. I tell you what, you are my hero, Bill. I want you to know that. <laughs> well, this week